This is the review of my DE G36C. To get started, people say this is a really crappy gun. I beg to differ. This is a really good gun, actually. Shoots about 250. I'm gonna get a full metal gearbox, new spring, everything. Specs of the gun. Nothing really special. Of course, always 6 millimeter. Um, hop up. I got it perfect, so I'm not gonna mess with that. The stock. Well, folding stock. Little button right there. You just push it in. Push it in, and it folds. It clips on to, uh, this thing right here. Just push it in. Pretty, uh, pretty secure. Not gonna fall out. Um, the, uh, crosshair sight. See if I can get you to see that. Pretty accurate. People say that's also crappy. Pretty accurate. It's not really uh, <coughs> sighted in right now, but I can sight that in with right there, right there, up, down, left, right. Turn that off. Don't want to waste the battery. People don't really go over this, but uh, there's two settings on it: dim and uh bright I guess and uh foregrip it's very basic foregrip just screw on take off I'm gonna put that back on there um mock silencer also s screw off And uh, comes with a uh, orange flash hider. Just screw that on there. But I'm gonna keep the silencer on because it improves the accuracy a little bit. Um, the sights right there, right back there. Front sight isn't adjustable. The back sight is. But I have it all the way down because I got the crosshair sight on. Um, selector switch on this side. Just a stupid plastic one. Over here. It's a little bit different from the MP5. But basically the same. Just clicks. Very good click. You'll know what's it in. Safety, semi, and auto. The trigger. Every, everything's plastic on this gun. Nothing's really metal. But the trigger, it doesn't really have a delay. It has a little bit of a delay, but I'm not really bother, bothered with it. I usually have it on auto. The, um... Markings, a double eagle, M85, U6 millimeter BB bullet, of course, made in China. Um, this is the I, the RIS rail. Has a rail right there. Has a rail on the bottom. And it has a rail on the other side, and has a rail for mounting sight optic sights on the top. This can come off, but I really don't suggest you do that. Um, the clip. The um, clip releases right here. Just push it forward. Comes out. The clip isn't really good, but I like that it has the mock bullets in it. 
clip isn't really good because it's just a 50, 50 round clip. Plastic. Um, and I also like it because you can clip other G36 clips into it. Click it in there. What came with the gun, I didn't, um, get the laser or the flash weight with it, so I just got the foregrip silencer crosshair sight. But what comes with the gun is this sling. People say all of the slings that come with guns are really crappy, but this sling for this gun is pretty good. These aren't really going to break if you don't put it through much use of trying to break this, but it's, a, it's actually starting to break though. It has a pretty good weight to it, about, eh, about four pounds. Um also came with the gun this extra screw for the sight crappy speed loader I use it right now because I don't have a good speed loader I still gotta get one or get one from a friend I don't know but it's good for right now and uh, a screwdriver did come with the gun but I ah, lost that already these BBs did not come with the gun, but the crappy 12 gram BBs that never use an AEGs or gas guns. I just put them in the speed loader and shot them around the room with the speed loader. So I got these. The box. Pretty flashy box. It tells you what it comes with. It tells you the specs and everything. But that has that M85P on it. No, it has the. Yeah, it has the M85P on the front. I just have the M85. Always of age above 18. Yeah. Right. Um. Yeah, the uh, the battery compartment. Gotta take the silencer off. There we go. This uh, button right here, just push it in. I gotta have two hands. One second. Just push it in. Comes right off. Battery compartment. It's a really nice battery compartment for these guns. Um, just slides right out. Push the connector right here. connector it's a 7.2 volt NICAD mini type battery the charger it's over here I gotta charge my battery so it's not gonna be very good sounding but let me put all that back together now You gotta watch out for the um, wires because the wires might get in the way of putting the um, foregrip back on. But uh, to me, it's a good gun. It's mostly for beginners, but if you use it the right way and if you put the hop up just right. I just had to spend like 20 minutes outside trying to get the hop up just right because one of my friends messed with it. But it's a pretty good gun. I like it. For the money, it was like $44 plus shipping and handling on airsplat.com. But not one of the higher end. G36 is like JG, but if you don't want to spend the money they cost, then it's a really good gun. But this is what it sounds like. 
semi, an auto, don't want to dry fire that much, who the fuck's calling me, but I gotta answer the phone, so that was the review of my DE G36C.